So this is Kevin Collins with Home Theater Forum. We have Jason from Epson. Nice meeting you today. We would like to have you take our, our viewership through the new Epson projectors that you're announcing here at Cedia. Absolutely, very excited to do it. So many people already know probably that Epson's the largest manufacturer of front projectors in the world. Um, we have the largest uh, share of market, about, about a little over half of all projectors sold in home entertainment are Epson projectors. So uh, we have sort of an obligation to bring really cool new products to you guys, and so we're really excited about what we have today. Um, we are keeping a bunch of our existing products in the lineup. You guys probably know the Home Cinema 8350. 8350 is the best-selling 1080p uh, projector on the market. Um, and we're keeping it in there. It's a 2D projector. It's 50,000 to 1 contrast ratio. It's got fantastic uh, installation flexibility for you DIYers out there. Um, and we, it's an absolute fantastic projector, uh, 2,000 lumen projector. But we are adding some stuff to our home cinema lineup, and uh, of course it's going to include 3D. So we start, we have actually five new full HD 1080p 3D products. And all of them include, I think, a pretty revolutionary thing, which is brightness in 3D. Because um, as everybody knows, stick those active glasses on your face, you lose a lot of the brightness. And so when you're starting at a low lumen, and you don't have anything else to mitigate some of the issues with 3D, you can have a very cool 3D image, but if you can't see it, it's not going to happen very much. So we are starting with the foundation of a very bright projector. We'll start you with our entry level sort of um, 1080p 3D projector. We're going to call it the Home Cinema 3010. That product uh, is going to be 2200 lumens. Um, and it's going to have something we call bright 3D drive. So Epson's bright 3D drive. And that bright 3D drive technology is a 480 hertz uh, drive technology. Um, and what it does is it, it eliminates crosstalk, which is something that we've done a fantastic job on our products. Crosstalk in 3D is when the left and the right kind of talk over each other. Um, you have to eliminate that in order to have a, a good image, and we've done that, but we've done it in such a way that we've eliminated a lot of the darkness issues that, that are inherent in that process. So you're starting with 2200 lumens and you've got bright 3D drive. So what you're going to have is a very bright image in 2D and a very bright image in 3D. It's 40,000 to 1 contrast ratio. Um, it's got um, split screen technology, which allows you to watch two images side by side from two different sources or two different inputs, um, which is great when you've got a 120 inch screen. You can watch basically like two 60 inch flat panels in one place, you know what I mean? Um, so, so Jason, you talked about uh, crosstalk. Can you, can you help our, the, some of the people that are new to 3D and what visual effect, how that comes across when they're looking through their glasses? What's, what's how, why is reducing crosstalk important to so, people? So it's really important to reduce crosstalk um, Basically, you know, that the way that the, the 3D glasses work, or the 3D works, is that it sends a left image and a right image. And if those images cross over each other at all, it's going to be very uh, disconcerting, or it's very disorienting. And it ultimately sort of dramatically detracts from the 3D experience and from the movie experience. We have effectively eliminated crosstalk. I mean, I, I've, I've looked at these projectors, and I think it's really an exceptional change. So you don't have any of that maybe a disorienting feeling when you're watching 3D. It's a very smooth image. And again, with our 3D drive and with our sort of lumen count the way we have it, you're going to get a very bright image that's not disorienting. Is that one of the side effects from crosstalk? I know what people refer to as ghosting, so they kind yes. of... So, yeah, you'd, you'd have ghosting, which would be kind of flaring of the image, um, and that's eliminated too. And so, um, Hopefully we can get an actual demo of these things ultimately that you can take a look at it. But, yeah. So is, is the main thing you guys did to eliminate crosstalk the going to 480 hertz or is there other stuff that you did with the glasses or anything? The majority of it, and there are other things, but the majority of it is our 480 hertz drive, which, um, which has you know, really eliminated the problem, you know, pretty much the problem as we saw it. I mean, we, you know, we saw the original iterations of 3D we saw a lot of crosstalk. I think if, as you see reviews come out and as you guys have a chance to take a look at it, you'll see that that's largely mitigated in these projects. Okay, I, I also noticed this little uh, box here. Can you explain what, what that is? Yeah, so, okay, so we have the Home Cinema 3010, um, and then we have a, another version of the 3010 called the 3010E. And the 3010E is basically the same projector, but it's going to have wireless HD capabilities. So wireless HD is basically um, being able to run um, high definition or 1080p uh, source without cables, um, audio and video source without cables. Um, and it's um, for 1080p and 3D. So this is capable of transmitting 3D, 1080p, etc. 
with really uh, without any loss of uh, fidelity or quality. So it looks like you you plug your your input source into here, and then there's the receivers built into this. So on the 3010E and in the 5010E, the receiver is built into the projector, and then this is your uh, transmitter. The um, on their, the other version, it's not built in, and really you can't use wireless HD without at a full external system. Really quick on price, the 3010E, I'm sorry, I'll tell you, the Home Cinema 3010 is going to be $1599 with two pairs of 3D glasses. So a pretty phenomenal price point for a 2200 lumen projector. It's 40,000 to 1 contrast ratio, um, has split screen technology, has all the goodies of, you know, Epson goodies that you're used to and has this 480 hertz drive as well. So we're very excited about that price. We think it's going to bring 3D projection to the masses. The wireless HD version, which is the um, 3010E, is going to be $1799, but it's not going to include the glasses. How much do glasses cost? I mean, if you're going to have a home theater or something, you probably want more than two glasses. So how much? Roughly, uh, let's call it 90, it's kind of a changing market, but roughly when we launched about $99 for the glasses. Up here. Are the glasses uh, rechargeable or do you have to put your own batteries in them? They're not. They're battery operated in the last about 80 hours. Um, they are uh, part, we are part of this sort of multi-purpose 3D glasses consortium. So, you know, our, you don't have to buy Epson glasses. Certainly you can, um, our glasses are out there. Um, Panasonic's glasses will work. Expand, which is that generic, you know, very high quality generic glasses. Um, they'll work. Um, I believe uh, Samsung and Sony have also joined the group, so to an extent a lot of their, their glasses moving forward will work as well. Okay, great. What's, uh, what's, what's on this projector? So now you move up to our, basically our enthusiast 1080p projector. Everyone probably knows the 8700UB. It was one of the more popular 1080p projectors on the market. This is kind of the, the um, very, very much improved follow-up to that product. Um, it's got all of the goodies that were in that product only a year better, a new, newer, um, including like super resolution technology, fine frame, frame interpolation technology. Um, it's going to be 200,000 to one contrast ratio. Um, I think one of the most notable things about it, however, is that it's going to be 2,400 lumens. So for those of you who are familiar with the 8700UB, that was 1,600 lumens, right? 1600 lumens. This is going to be 2400 lumens. Again, bright 3D drive with 40 hertz uh, technology. Um, all the bells and whistles I just told you about, as well as split screen capabilities. And again, all of that wide installation flexibility because we've got that nearly 100% vertical and 50% horizontal lens shift. Now that, that comes with the uh, wireless also? There is a wireless version. So there's the 5010 and then the 5010E. These aren't totally priced yet, but they're going to come in under $3,500 and $3,000, and $3, respectively. So the 3010E, 5010E, under $35, the 5010 under $3. So the, the big differences between these two is the, the out, lumens output, the brightness level, and the, is, is there a contrast ratio difference? Yeah, so 40,000 to 1 contrast ratio versus 200,000 to 1 contrast ratio. 2200 lumens versus 2400 lumens, super resolution technology, frame interpolation technology, um, as well as, frankly, more installation flexibility. This has got a, a far more advanced horizontal uh, Fujinon lens assembly with horizontal and vertical lens shift. So the lens is a step up also. The lens is a step up. This, the, the entry level piece, um, it's a great piece, but frankly, from an installation standpoint, it's a fixed lens. It has zoom capabilities, but, it's, but if you want to if you have an installation issue where you need to shift the image, you're going to have to use um, horizontal and, and uh, vertical keystone. Great. Which, which you do not have to use ever on our higher end pieces. Now, if I, if I look down, it looks like these black projectors are uh, kind of the, more for the CDA channel for that's people. Right. Is it, so that's another step up? It is. It is. It's so our new. So what you see here are our existing line. This is the Pro Cinema 6010. So this is the Full HD 1080p 3D uh, answer on the Pro on the on the Pro Cinema, or what we call the Cedia channel side. And it's got all the bells and whistles that I told you about on the 5010. Um, but it's got some uh, other enhancements that make it very very good for your professional installer, um, and uh, as well as a number of extras that come in the package to make it a truly uh, great. Uh, a full package for a full service situation like a CDA situation. I'll tell you what those are. 
So again, it has all that installation flexibility that we talked about. Um, you know, it's got a 2.1 zoom as well as the 5010 does as well, which means you can basically get a hundred inch image from as little as nine and a half feet. So very, very uh, flexible from an installation standpoint. It's why our installers have rated us number one, or Cedia dealers have rated us number one for four years in a row from like Inside Track Magazine. They've rated our um, resolution of service and support number one and our uh, you know, ease of doing business number one. A lot of that has to do with the product reliability and so forth. A lot of it has to do with all of these extra features that we have. I was just looking at your previous model that you had and, and I was kind of noticing that the, the way that you guys are doing airflow seems different between the two. Is there anything special with that? Yeah, the, you know, we did a center lens uh, design on the new products, both on the Pro Cinema 6010 on what I'm about to tell you, which is the Pro Cinema 61000. Center lens design, I think, is very aesthetically pleasing. It's easier from a lens shift perspective because from an aesthetic standpoint, you're putting it up and it's center lens. Um, and then uh, from an airflow perspective, this gives you the ability really to have a very, if you have a soffit, if you have a, a sound box, anything like that, you have basically no clearance requirements on the side because all of your stuff is being ventilated from the front. So in a situation like, and I'll take you to it in a moment, for example, in a situation like our reflective product, it has the, the smallest footprint in its class in terms of chassis size. You couple that with the airflow and intake and, out, and output on the front, and you've got a very, very easy inst installation projector. It looks like you can, and I'm looking at the back of uh, this one, it looks like you can, this could actually go close to the wall too. It could, because of the... Uh, yeah, whereas you're kind of more, maybe more limited on this to butt, your, butt it back. Yeah, so you have a lot of flexibility, and again, for a room that's small, for example, and you need to go close to the wall, that, that this would be a very good trick. In terms of performance uh, on, on the 6010 versus the 5010, is there performance differences in terms of lumens or contrast ratio? There is not in terms of lumens or contrast ratio. What, where, where you can kind of uh, improve your performance is this has ISF calibration capability. Um, it is THX certified, well pending in this case, but because it hasn't launched yet, but THX certified pending. Um, so it's, it's got some features in it that are going to give the true uh, CD installer the capability of really dialing this in to a, to a level that possibly the, the enthusiast projector would So is there, is there still CMS on the 5010? And what this has is if, you know, if, if I was a CD installer, I would have like day-night modes that I wouldn't have on there for my customer to be able to swap back and forth with. You can. You can do uh, customized color modes on both of them. So in other words, if you want to, and I use this, I mean, just on a personal level for my existing projector, I have four-year-old twins uh, during the day when they're out and about. I, I kick it up to dynamic mode. We have five color modes. So I kick it up to dynamic mode. I want, you know, it's not quite as good, but you can really dial it in for dynamic mode. And with the brightness of our projectors, you can have a lot of ambient light in that room and still have a pretty phenomenal experience. At night when I'm watching a movie, I can kick it down to cinema black and I can have, a, you know, specialized modes in, or, or, or calibrate for that purpose. This is going to allow you to dial that in even more. I want to bring up one other thing just while, before I forget. The other things that differentiate this, because they're pretty substantial. This comes with two sets of 3D glasses. The 5010 does not. The 3010 does, the 5010 does not. The 6010 comes with two pairs of 3D glasses, it comes with THX certified pending, um, ISF calibration capabilities, an, an extra lamp. And remember, our eToro lamps, which are proprietary lamps, last 5,000 hours to begin with. So with this projector, you have 10,000 hours worth of lamp life. It comes with a mount, a cable cover, um, and a third year warranty. So our warranties are all replacement warranties. So if the uh, two years and 11 months and 29 days after this is purchased, something goes wrong, you can call uh, our dealer support, our customer support line. Um, we'll overnight a new unit. Sometimes it takes 48 hours, but maximum of 48 hours uh, at our, on our dime, and we'll pay for the return shipping of the other product. So. You, you got me all intrigued on this projector when you're talking about some of the new technology on it. What what, what's uh, new about this? Yeah, we're really excited about this. We, frankly, were so excited that we launched this last, we announced this last year at CDA. Um, and it's taken us a year to perfect it. But what we have is like a, a, a really phenomenal picture. It's a 2D projector. It's, it's Epson's proprietary reflective technology. So you guys all know about LCOS um, or, um, you know, those types of liquid crystal and silicon. This is actually not liquid crystal on silicon. It's actually liquid crystal on a quartz substrate. So we don't call it L 
icon, but we call it three LCD reflective. Uh, what, what is, what's that mean though? I mean, to have it on quartz versus silicon. You know, I, I, I don't know really how it would affect, personally, I'm not, I'm not that technical. But what I will tell you is what we've achieved with this is tremendous black levels. And I, I really want you guys to see this. I'm excited for anybody that's, you know, a part of the forum and certainly you to, to come take a look at it so you can say, see it for yourself because it's pretty phenomenal. But uh, for example, on the Pro Cinema 61000, we're able to achieve a million to one contrast ratio. Um, and what you have is extraordinarily black levels and strong grayscales and everything like that. And it has all the goodies that are in a lot of our other Pro Cinema products and, and our, our enthusiast products like super resolution technology and frame interpolation and so forth. It also has networking capabilities, um, so it can you know call you up and say, "Hey, my lamp's about to die," or "I'm, I'm not feeling very well," or whatever, and you can basically. So there's an uh, Ethernet port in the back, or is it wireless? It's uh, it's an Ethernet port. And it, it will you pro, we go into the program menu and type in your mobile number, and it'll. It will send you well. It'll send you an email. It'll for an email. for what are all the what's all the things that it'll send you a mail about? Well, I, I guess it's myriad things, but it's uh, but you know mostly it's going to be di diagnostic issues if it's if it's having an issue with airflow or if it's having a, a or if it's a lamp is dying or something like that. So this is really for the Cedia channel where you know, the, it, it would tell me as the the custom installer would have this, and then I would know in advance if. You were my customer, and this exactly. was having so that's that's the the key that's area. That's exactly for right. And in the the sixty ten the sixty one thousand excuse me has that. It also has um I forgot a really important feature. I actually my favorite feature is it's got intelligent lens memory, so it can convert it can transition from sixteen by nine to two three five to one or two three nine to one or whatever, um, basically with a push of a button. So um, it's you know it can move from sixteen nine to anamorphic very easily. It's just basically, because it's got a, a auto zoom and auto uh, lens shift, it uh, you know, basically will make the corrections in real time. Um, there are two versions of this I should mention, a, six, a 61,000, which is the flagship, and a 31,000, which is basically the piece underneath it. The 61,000 will retail, it has all those other goodies of the mount and the, the warranty and the um, Mount the warranty, the cable cover, the THX certification, ISF calibration capabilities, etc., um, and the lamp, uh, and it's going to be under five thousand dollars. So, what's the difference from the thirty-one hundred and the sixty-one hundred? So, the thirty-one thousand will be under four thousand dollars, and it will be five hundred thousand to one contrast ratio instead of a million to one, and it will not have those networking capabilities. Is it the same light output? It is twelve hundred lumens. Well, this, I, I'm looking forward to going up to the thing and having Greg give us a, uh, a demo of it. You know, Greg's a moderator on our forum, so. Oh, that's right. Greg, I think, will say, I think one of the things he's saying, and I'll let him say it, but he's been saying that he, he challenges anybody to find something that achieves black levels at this level at any price. When's this going to ship? So let me tell you, this one will ship at the end of November, the 6010, which is the 3D book at 1080p. Awesome 2D projector as well, by the way. For those of you that are enamored of 3D, this is basically the 9700 on steroids, right? And then um, the the reflective technology is going to ship by the end of the year. It is going to be very tight on allocation to start, so it'll be kind of in demand, but it will be shipping by the end of the year. And I forgot, you said it was going to be under 5,000 for the under six. Under five for the 61,000, under four for the 3,000. Wow, that's that's impressive. Yeah. Well, I, we're definitely going to be checking out the theater up there to see what it looks like. Thanks for your time, Jason. Absolutely. Thank you. All right.